Welcome back to the channel. So, the newest addition to the collection is a Honda ADB 160. This was originally intended for my better half, but uh, she changed her mind and decided that she did not want it. Well, after looking at it and a short test ride, I weirdly liked it a lot and I got it anyway in exchange for my KLX 230. Knowing that it is not a fully ADV capable bike, but more of a pretender. Or is it? With its increased ride height, lightweight, semi off road tires, and that sexy twin shower suspension in the back, it is ready to explore, and I will be putting it to the test and see just how bad or good it actually is. At its core, there is a 157cc liquid-cooled four-stroke single-cylinder engine made it to a belt-driven automatic transmission. Honda advertises 130 plus miles to the gallon, but in the real world I have so far seen about 100 in the city and 75 to 80 on the highway. Speaking of highway, thanks to its little bump and displacement, it is actually capable of 65 miles an hour all day long and tops at 70 miles. Not bad at all, if you ask me. Selectable torque control is on board just like on a Africa Twin. The underseat storage is good for 30 liters, plenty for all kinds of gear or grocery shopping. The windshield is adjustable, pretty nifty for such a small scooter. All lights on the bike are LED, thank you for that Honda. The cherry on top is the good looking dash with all the necessities like ref counter, speed, voltage, coolant temps, fuel level, trip meter and all the fuel statistics you could want. But what totally blew my mind is that this little scoot even comes with a wireless key fob a la BMW. There is a switch on the right side that will allow you to start the bike without a physical key, as well as open the fuel door and unlock the seat bank. If you could not tell by now, I am fairly impressed with this little scoot, which is probably why I bought it anyway, and you get all of this for $4,500 here in the US. In my book, that is a lot of bike for the money, especially considering that it should theoretically go on-road and off the beaten path. Another interesting fact, despite looking somewhat bulky, its weight is identical to my outgoing KLX 230 at just under 300 pounds. That makes it very nimble and confidence inspiring, especially at slow speeds. If you could not tell by now, I am really digging this little Honda Scoot, even though it is not the kind of bike I usually ride. But hey, that is the beauty of choices. Nothing wrong with that in my book. Until next time, keep it on too, be safe, and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.